Like I think the way most of the time people ask us how we manage to get such a strong flavor into our plants. It's simply because the varieties that we use are the heirloom varieties. So what it means to be very simple is that if you take for example the strawberries, now they are very large, they're big, juicy, but they have really no flavor. You have, you have, you have sugar to it, it tastes good. It's a variety of very, very sweet corn. Grow it in the dark, is that what yes, that is? Yes, otherwise it turns green straight away. It turns green? Yes. The concept is very simple again. So the we use this clean natural fiber because all those microgreens are clean when they grow. This fiber is clean, meaning you don't need to wash it. All the grower most of the time will use dirt or, or perlite or coconut fiber in order to grow their microbes. But most of the time, this dirt or this fiber of sand is obviously dirty and it needs to be washed before to be used. So that's basically where you see the biggest difference between our technique of growing and other technique of, uh, from other farmers is that you don't need to wash ours, you can pick it directly out of the clamshell when you need to wash it. For the green growers. So the way it works is that black clothes catch the sunlight and the heat. So if you touch the top, it's warm. And the, the cloth, the cover, keep the moist inside, so it's high humidity and hot, so that's perfect for them to germinate. Night, the entire greenhouse is covered. We keep the heat inside. So these shades expand yes, yes. throughout the whole piece? Yes, through the entire greenhouse. And uh, everything is controlled by, uh, we have a weather forecast station on the top of the greenhouse. And that tells us the, uh, the, the, the wind speed, etc., etc., etc. We have a very co uh, controversial okay. product here. That's a little bit the same. So again, break the seeds, smell them. That's the same story as our. Uh, this is the same story as our uh, popcorn shoots. It's coriander. Yeah. Break the seed and smell them. So this is exactly like you said. This is a type of uh, of coriander. Oh, that's so we, we, we came up with a variety. To try that. That when is it much grows, more. It's so strong. But you will see, this is much more ginger and citrus. It's all basil. Look at that. But it's really firm at that at that stage. Look at it. Yeah, it's just suck it in. <laughs> okay, so you know when I was telling you that about all those varieties, mm -hmm. especially when I was mentioning the basil before, if you just take and it, 
you just yeah and I yeah that's how basal fruit is smell uh, and the smell up there is, is is pretty bright but this is just yeah it's ruddy it's and uh, with the away. sparkling oh. water mm -hmm. that really works very good or you put that in, in in the water itself all the flavor of this kind of sweet licorice coming to it now what do you call that really fantastic we call it some buka. oh okay very simple because it's fine. This one tastes like cumin. Cumin? Yeah. It tastes like cumin. That's really funny. It's crazy. System, this, which is just this works very well. We have really some impressive. Of, we have some of our competitors saying, how do you guys manage to produce so much crop out of such small greenhouse? And that's a very good compliment because I mean that's yeah. Produce a lot. We started from nothing, just two rows. That was all it's just really had. smartly done. And it just tastes like beets. And it's not beets at all, this is the amaranth. It's the last, last row that you see. When I show you the beets, rule of blood, when I show you the seed of the beets, it's the one mm -hmm. on the left. This one here is much more um, uh, like a roasted garlic. It's a chai, but it tastes like roasted garlic. You were asking me before about the, uh, the tree. That's the tree from Tibet. This one is my uh, savory Willy Wonka. Okay. Meaning the flavor will keep changing as you chew on it. And it reminds me like the forest after the rain. Meaning that you have mushroom, garlic, onion, wet leaf, kind of um, like wet leaf, you will see. And the flavor keeps changing as you chew on it. And this is a tree. And that's a tree. The story with that one, we have a fair trade program with a school in Tibet that harvests the seeds from the tree just two weeks during the year. what you think about yeah. anything that crosses your mind because I really want to stay unbiased and I will tell you what I think about okay, okay. so that's for you it looks awesome only a small piece of, only the small piece is enough just eat a small piece yeah like a spicy anyway. citrus kind of like a sour citrus sour citrus okay when you bite into it really it has the flavor of a like a nice ripe cheese, though. Like a sorry? Like a ripe cheese, like a, a, a brie or a, mm -hmm. maybe a camembert, but you get it for a little bit and then, then it goes to a more of a cucumber it's note. So it. If you try a little bit, you kind of clean your palate. Yeah. And bring, um, and anything that you would taste after that would just be the yeah, ideas again. I remember that one. 